Yo, 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 it's Carter. What's going on? Got a new source code for you guys. Uh, this is one, it was sweet uh, for various reasons, which I will walk through. Uh, one of the biggest things that happened when I actually put up that, I put that slot machine up one, uh, I think it was last week or two weeks ago. And some of the best feedback from people is that they were super pumped on the fact that they actually didn't have to go out and hire anyone to do it. Like they could do a lot uh, of the work themselves and not have to go and hire some programmer or designer or whatever to, to do it for them. And that gave them much more control over the process and they could do it as quickly as possible or whatever. So Alex reached out, or I reached out to Alex and he reached out back to me. And what I realized after we talked, you know, I thought it was a great code. I thought it was really cool because this, these type of codes are just so hot right now. They're all over the top of the charts. But what he came back to me with is he's like, dude, I not only is this game doing really well, um, this code is, um, is unbelievably easy to reskin, even if you don't have a developer or designer, because it's content. And it's super, like you just go out and get pictures and put them in here, and it's game over. I mean, obviously there's a little bit more to that, but that's the gist of it. And that was really exciting to me because I think a lot of you out there can really benefit from this kind of thing if you don't know much about coding or anything like that. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna walk through this. It's called uh, you know what pick or guess the pick or whatever you wanna call this. And I'm gonna walk through and show you the app, and then I'm gonna show you why it's, um, you know, what it's got going on in there, and you know why it's a really great uh, app to have in your portfolio. So you pop it open, and you can obviously see, that, you know, there's a sound thing for if you want to turn it off or whatever. Coins shows you a level. There's 75 puzzles it says, and that's you can modify that. You can make as many as you want. This is just the logo, the name of the app, and it gives you a little bit of a, an intro. So you tap the blocks to reveal the image and you guess the word. It's it's really simple. And like I said, this is a really popular genre right now. There's a lot of people doing this, and I think that you could do this really creatively with, um, you know, some some kind of niche niche market stuff, which I'll talk about in a little bit. So that's the opening, and uh, let's just hit start. Let's just get started. So what you're presented with is this block, and so this one's four by four, and behind this is an image, and I'll click on it in a second. And you also see right here, this is uh, it says Flickr.com. What this is is a Creative Commons license, which means that on Flickr. Most people upload their images and they are fully, they're totally fine with people using their images in uh, commercial products such as an app. As long as you just put a little, um, you know, tag back to their, to, you know, you source it where you got it from. Kind of like when you were writing papers back in college, you had to put a little footnote. Uh, it's the same sort of deal and it's, it's really not hard to do. And Alex made it really easy to do this, which I'll show you in a little bit. So that... Um, you know, this is this is just as easy as once you get the image. So, you know, you go, what you do for the app is you actually just, you click on a few of these and you start to reveal the image and you see it and you're like, okay, I bet that, yep, that's definitely a cat, right? Three letters, boom, done. When you get it right, it drops it down and you get, you won 10 coins and you press continue. And the clock, and the scoreboard goes up. And so this is the same, you know, it, it continues this way. So obviously that's a wolf and you know, it's actually kind of, I kind of like that a lot. <laughs> yeah. So what's cool is like, you know, it gets a little bit more complex. You have to do a little bit more. What I'm going to show you down here is some of these functions that it has. So right here is, uh, let's say you punch out a few and you, oh no, you ran out of, uh, of coins or, or chances to punch them out. This will actually take a screenshot of the screen and then it'll allow you to share it to somebody. So if you can't figure it out, you can share it to someone else and say like, hey, can you figure this out? That's a great way to make this app go viral. So that's all built in. And that's something that really helps with, um, you know, Zynga does that a lot on there, like words with friends and stuff like that. So that's one piece. The second piece is that you can actually buy uh, in, like letters for right here. So find a letter from the word for 60 coins. Um, so, okay, I've got a 220 coins, sure, I'll buy one. So I, I went down to 60, but I, I figured out an L. And maybe I'm saying, oh, like well, you only get a certain amount of uh, openings to do this and it says you got no more reveals and you get two extra for another 60 coins, right? So that's a nice little a nice little way to get in there. Click OK and you're down to zero. So I got two more reveals left going down. Oh, it looks like it might be, uh, maybe is it an apple? Oh, I don't know, maybe I need one more reveal. You click it, you get the same prompt, but I don't have any more reveals and so now you get hit with a store and this is awesome monetization. Like just dialed in perfectly done you know you can design this however you want it's just right there and it serves it at the exact moment when you want to purchase like it's, it's part of the experience 
So this is, this is a really powerful store and it's all built in already and you can change the pricing and the amounts or whatever you wanna do. So it's already done, right? And so, um, like obviously I know that this is an Apple and I win and it goes to the next one. So I won 10, 10 coins on that level. And the rest of the app goes through this whole thing. And so this, that's, that's the, the long strokes of the whole thing. Um, it's really, you know, really well built, really well designed, and it's really, really popular right now, right? So that's surfing, but I'm just gonna, that's what you got for the app. Now, what's also interesting about this is uh, Chart Boost and RevMob are both in here. And Alex, this is, he sent this over just for demo purposes, but you can easily put this in, uh, you know, like we always do with the uh, double layer on the front. Like maybe if they lose uh, or if they decide to quit, you can put in some more ads. You can put a more games button here. That's all baked in and it's all up to you if you want to add that in wherever you want, which is really cool. And so I think that the next big value add, besides it being a really hot market, a really you know, simple but well-built app. I think the third, uh, the other piece is that the way Alex built this is super, super nice because he made it uh, with the intention of someone who maybe doesn't really know the, you know, how to program or they don't want to hire a developer and they don't want to waste the time to hire a developer. And so what he did is he, um, he sent me this file and he, this is like, this is the zip file that he sent me. And like, check this out. Like, this is a full, like documentation of, of everything in here. And it shows you exactly what you need to do to set this up. Like, look at this whole thing. I'm not showing the whole thing. Like, this is unbelievable. He went through this whole thing and walks you through every piece of how to set this up. Like, that is unbelievable for anyone to do that. So you really don't have to. And this is even better. Like, he shows you where to get tips, where to do stuff. It's amazing, right? And then it gives you all the PSD files so it's easy to modify. You know, all the documentation, all the screenshots so that you can check it all out. I mean, he went to great, great lengths to make sure that this is, this is a totally turnkey so that any money that you spend on this code, you don't have to spend ever again. Like, you can literally do this over and over without ever having to spend another dime. And every app will just make you more and more money. And so you can make this money back very, very quickly. So it's, it's really impressive. When we first talked, you know, I, I said, this is a great app. And there, you know, I was like, here's some ideas. And he came back to me like three days later and he added all these awesome features. He did all this documentation. So if, any, if nothing else, I can tell you, look, Alex is the real deal and he's a really good developer and he's a great guy to know. And he's really gonna help you out if you, have, if you run into any problems. And he proved it by showing you the documentation. So I'm, I'm fired up about this. Uh, you know, you go on iTunes any day of the week and you're gonna see two or three of these somewhere at the top of the charts. I think that there's a lot of opportunity for targeting specific markets. So one thing in, you know, in what I've been doing and what a lot of people do in reskinning is that you go and you find hot keywords and then you build apps for those keywords. So let's say you find some really good theme that no one's really capitalizing on. You can build a game for that theme super quickly. Like let's say you wanna do one about uh, roses or you know, a type of dog breed or anything. You can just make them, go into Flickr and get all these Creative Commons licensed images redo the, uh, all the, the lines of code, which is just you know, typing like you would in a Word document, and Alex shows you exactly how to do that, and you know, create a new icon and a new splash screen and a new title, and you're, you're on your way, like just like that. And you can get it done very, very quickly, and you can create a lot of these apps. So I think it's a great one. Uh, I'm really glad that Alex and I were able to connect, and if you have any questions, definitely leave them below, and you know, read the article, and I hope to see you soon. All right, see ya.